Alright, this is a weekly reading for Virgo. Um, we're going to start off with the playlist, the song choices for this week, and then we'll start off with um, a card I channeled from my cat wisdom deck. So let's get started. Um, queen, I want to break free. Queen, somebody to love. Um, Metallica, Hero of the Day, Coldplay, Strawberry Swing, um, Lana Lewis, Run, and Pharrell Williams, Happy. It seems to be an ongoing song that keeps coming up every week in somebody's thing for sure. Pharrell Williams, Happy. And then we have the channeled card, um... Time to wait. There's a time for action and a time for patience. You have to put in hard work now. Um, you put in hard work. Now there's nothing left to do but wait. When the time is right, you will start to see results. And your hard work will pay off. Fun stuff. So that could be for, you know, anything that's going on in your life, pretty much. Um... And then we have you right now, um, which is the Knight of Wands. Uh, action being taken, um, things getting done, a change of home, something tangible, um, getting the job done, a go-getter. So it's a very Cancerian or Leo energy that you have this week. Um, so, very water and fire um, thing. So, really, literally, steam. And then we have the week's theme, which is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a good opportunity to change, um, well, a chance to travel. An opportunity to trade internationally. Um, working in a team. Help from others. And this is going to be in your sun sign. Probably Virgo. Um, well, it's your first house. So whatever your first house is. Hopefully it's Virgo. If you're, you know, listening to this. Um, and then we have the challenge. The challenge of the week is going to be the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is happiness, abundance, new relationship, joy, good news, fulfillment. Very water, autumn. So, like, around your birthday, I guess. Um, if you're, like, a Virgo, born in Virgo, like, September, August, I think. I think that's Virgo season. Anyway. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright, and then we have a lesson to remember this week, which is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is ambition, diligence, mastery, crafts and talents, perfectionism, and that is also in your sun sign. So, you're basically in Virgo, <laughs> doing Virgo stuff. Um, anyway, we have the lessons that you will learn this week. Which is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is joy, happiness, prosperity, fulfill, fulfilling dreams. <laughs> Wishes coming true. I'm sorry, I couldn't do that voice for too long. I was getting stuck on my L's. Um, that was in Jupiter. Jupiter's been running amok in other things, but seems to be doing quite well for you. Um... <laughs> then we have the gift of the week, which is the Eight of Cups in Reverse. The Eight of Cups in Reverse is scared to move on, stagnant, lack of maturity, and faking happiness and independence. Um, so this is where the time to wait actually comes in, the channeled card for you. Um, it there's a time for action and time for patience. This would be the time for patience. Um, so, yeah. I would just keep doing what you're doing. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. 
sorry. The world has its way of creating opportunities. The universe has a way of <laughs> dabbling in the unknown. So, hey, if you're into Santeria or giving to the universe and some spectacular shows of affection, <laughs> with me I just leave my leftover stuff outside for animals or whatever the case. Like those grapes I didn't want to eat. Mm. Green grapes, terrible. Anyway, but yeah, you know, the universe has ways of working out. You give a little back, you get some in return. It's an equal give and take with the universe, but with other people, a lot of times it doesn't. And you can also ask the universe for things, especially at night. That's kind of why it's out there wide and awake. So, ask the universe for what you want, but be very specific. Um, it should happen, or it should arrange itself in ways that allow you to justify your actions in order to get that. It's really hard to explain. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean if, like, you're wanting that. Anyway, Virgo, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, <laughs> leave it in the comment section below and I will read those. Um, and thank you for watching, Virgo. I hope this was insightful. Whatever you're waiting on, I hope it comes soon. Tomorrow. Next week. A month from now. Uh, hopefully it comes soon. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye now.